Rita Hayworth, born Margarita Carmen Cancino, October 17, 1918, May 14, 1987, was an American actress and dancer. She achieved fame during the 1940s as one of the era's top stars, appearing in a total of 61 films over 37 years. The press coined the term Love Goddess to describe Hayworth after she had become the most glamorous screen idol of the 1940s. She was the top pin-up girl for G.I.s during World War II. Hayworth is perhaps best known for her performance in the 1946 film noir, Gilda, opposite Glenn Ford, in which she played the femme fatale in her first major dramatic role. Fred Astaire, with whom she made two films, called her his favorite dance partner. Her greatest success was in the Technicolor musical Cover Girl, 1944, with Gene Kelly. She is listed as one of the top 25 female motion picture stars of all time in the American Film Institute's survey, of his 100 years... 100 stars. In 1980, Hayworth was diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease, which contributed to her death at age 68. The public disclosure and discussion of her illness drew attention to Alzheimer's and helped to increase public and private funding for Alzheimer's research. Hayworth was born in Brooklyn, New York, in 1918 as Margarita Carmen Cancino, the oldest child of two dancers. Her father, Eduardo Cancino, Sr., was from Castilla de la Cuesta, a little town near Seville, Spain. Her mother, Volga Hayworth, was an American of Irish-English descent who had performed with a Ziegfeld Follies. The couple married in 1917. They also had two sons, Eduardo Cancino, Jr. and Vernon Cancino. Margarita's father wanted her to become a professional dancer, while her mother hoped she would become an actress. Her paternal grandfather, Antonio Cancino, was renowned as a Spanish classical dancer. He popularized the bolero, and his dancing school in Madrid was world famous. Hayworth later recalled, From the time I was three and a half. As soon as I could stand on my own feet, I was given dance lessons. She noted I didn't like it very much. But I didn't have the courage to tell my father, so I began taking the lessons. Rehearse, 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 that was my girlhood. She attended dance classes every day for a few years in a Carnegie Hall complex, where she was taught by her uncle Angel Cancino. She performed publicly from the age of six. In 1926 at the age of eight, she was featured in La Fiesta, a short film for Warner Brothers. In 1927, her father took the family to Hollywood. He believed that dancing could be featured in the movies and that his family could be part of it. He established his own dance studio, where he taught such stars as James Cagney and Jean Harlow. During the Great Depression, he lost all his investments as commercial interest in his dancing classes waned. In 1931, Eduardo Cancino partnered with his 12-year-old daughter to form an act called the Dancing Cancinos. Since under California law Margarita was too young to work in nightclubs and bars, her father took her with him to work across the border in Tijuana, Mexico. In the early 1930s, it was a popular tourist spot for people from Los Angeles. Because she was working, Cancino never graduated from high school, but she had completed ninth grade at Hamilton High in Los Angeles. Cancino, Hayworth, took a bit part in the film Cruz Diablo, 1934, at age 16 which led to another bit part in the film in Calenti, 1935, with the Mexican actress, Dolores Del Rio. She danced with her father in such night spots as the Foreign and the Calenti clubs. Winfield Sheehan, the head of the Fox Film Corporation, saw her dancing at the Calenti club and quickly arranged for Hayworth to do a screen test a week later. Impressed by her screen persona, Sheehan signed her for a short term 
six-month contract at Fox, under the name Rita Cancino, the first of two name changes during her film career. Mm.